Hey everybody, it's Darcy. I hope you're well and having a great day. Today I'm going to do my very first product review. It's uh, about Mission Watercolor, and I use those in quotes because there's a story behind this. But it's about Mission Watercolors. They're a company based out of uh, South Korea. Now, just as a disclaimer, pretty well, if I do any more reviews, they're probably just going to be good reviews. Um, I don't think it's fair when people have put a bad review on a product unless they're an expert. And I am certainly not an expert at this and I encourage people to try things on their own because what might be uh, bad for one person or unfavorable would be absolutely fine for another. So this will be a good product review, but there is a funny story behind it. So let's go. Now, um, originally, the reason I bought these paints um, was because it was listed as six different watercolors in the shades of gray. Three warm colored grays and three cool color gray watercolors. Now, if you know much about watercolors, you'll know that there's not a lot of grays out there. Essentially, there's Payne's gray, which is a really neat looking gray. It's got some nice colors to it. And then the other way you get gray is simply taking a black paint and diluting it more and more and more on the white paper and that will give you basically a very very light gray to a very very dark gray almost black depending on how much you water it down so i was intrigued when i saw this uh, mission uh, watercolor package of six gray watercolors so i ordered it got it in the mail and it showed up and I've got some pictures to show you of the box, the front and the back. However, when I started using these things, I realized they're not watercolors. They are a form of watercolor, but they are actually gouache paints. Now, gouache paints, if you didn't know, have a different binding to them. They use a chalk binding um, versus the typical binding um, with watercolor paints. So gouache paints happen to be a lot more translucent. They did, I think, glow a bit more. They're very, very nice. They, they stand out. Um, and all of a sudden, that's when I went, hmm, no, no wonder there's six different shades of um, this gouache gray color because you can actually do it differently with a gouache painting versus a watercolor. Now, that being said, after I tried it a couple times, I was actually quite happy with it. Um, I was unhappy. I got a didn't get my watercolors, um, but I was happy with the gouache painting. So I'm going to do a speed painting on this um, with this product. Um, now the one thing you will notice is I do it on a brown paper. It's like a cardboard paper. It's not your typical watercolor paper. And the reason I do that is I was taught in school that um, if you to make whites and highlights pop out a bit more. You, you shouldn't be using just a white paper or a white background, and this is true in digital arts as well. You'll notice many YouTube videos tend to have a grayish or off-colored white background so that when they do do white highlights, they, they tend to stand out more. So here we go. I'm going to start with a couple quick pictures of the, uh, the box that came in. Oh, the one thing about this product too is it comes in a tube, and the neat thing about this tube, I would probably rank it as a value sort of price uh, not overly expensive anywhere in the range of three to four to five dollars per tube and then this is your typical watercolor tube now the one thing you will notice this is double the size of this character so you do you do not only get it for a decent price but you also get a fair bit of it uh, which would last you you know relatively long time unless you're planting painting on um, painting a huge gray gouache painting and this is just a little guy I think it's eight by four inches of a statue. So here we go. Uh, the good news is I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to start with a couple pictures of the box and then I'm going to put some music in so you can listen to it. Please like and subscribe. I've had a lot of people subscribing lately and I really appreciate it. It's lots of fun. Um, if you're looking for something, send me a message and say, Darcy, try to paint this. I don't know if I can or not, but I'll try and give it a shot. Anyway, have a good day. Hope you're staying safe during this uh, pandemic we're in and your family as well. 